Is OPM really declining? Is K-pop the reason for this? Or is it the Western music? Hmm. Welcome back again to my channel and today guys I finally finally decided to open another or make another playlist for you guys so it's called question and answer real talk with Angel so um, my darlings and I made up that title <laughs> so I asked for their help and we came up with that title so yeah this playlist will talk about topics that uh, are interesting to discuss. So, our first topic for today is uh, actually from my friend subscriber that um, she sent me a question. Okay, so her name is Annalie Bautista. So, thank you girl for this question. So, here is the question. So, I will read it to you. So, it, here it is. The popularity of OPM is slowly declining. OPM is original Pinoy music, uh, Filipino music in short. So the proliferation <laughs> the proliferation of K-pop and Western music is one of the factors of this. This leads to an alarming state of our very own music. One day it is possible that our very own music will be lost in translation. So, it's uh, it's more like a question and stating, something like that. So, my say on this, okay, is, wait, <laughs> wait. So, I will first uh, question you guys. Is OPM really declining? Is K-pop the reason for this? Or is it the Western music? Hmm. So we will answer it, guys. So I will, I will tell my answer to you guys. So my answer is, drum roll. <laughs> okay. So my answer is no, 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 not no. <laughs> so no, a big no, no. OPM is not declining. Why? Why my opinion? No. Okay. Because um, first, first, uh, the question here states K-pop and Western music. So, um, it means that K-pop and the Western music are in the mainstream right now. It doesn't mean that OPM is declining. It's just in the mainstream. It's like the trend of this generation, okay? That's the trend of this generation, K-pop and Western music, okay? So, not really declining. Um, then, uh, another one, another point is not all Filipinos listen to k-pop and western music okay not all well some of us we heard k-pop and western music but we don't really listen to it every day so not all filipinos listen to that kind of songs mostly so, some older generations still listen and idolizes opm okay then this trend k-pop and western this trend this mainstream right now uh, mostly teens are listening to it okay then actually generation really really 
played a part in this okay because um let's start with my grandfather <laughs> okay let's start with my late grandfather so my grandfather listened to elvis and at the same time, he also listens to Freddie Aguilar, Apo Hiking Society, and more. So that's his trend. That's the trend, the mainstream in his time. And next, my mom. So my mom, well, her, her generation, they listen to Backstreet Boys, the other boy band Westlife, and Eraserhead. So that's the time when Eraserhead's uh, are so popular here in the Philippines so she listens to both okay then there comes me me so in my time when I was in my teens I listened to One Direction I'm a directioner guys <laughs> I'm a directioner and at the same time I also listen to Silent Sanctuary I really love Silent Sanctuary I buy the, their albums I go to their shows so you see I listen to both and now, the generation now, as you can see, they listen to SB19, Ben and Ben, uh, more bands, and K-pop. Yeah, K-pop. So, as you can see, guys, um, every generation listens to the trend, listens to OPM and Western music whichever is the trend at the same time so that means um all these genres exist all at the same time okay <laughs> so there's no really there's no really uh what we call that the term declining in the music no it's really uh, on the mainstream on what's the mainstream so right now the mainstream the trend is k-pop so that's why people are listening to k-pop okay but that doesn't mean that your own music in your own country or in our country is declining no okay so music is existing all the genres are existing all at the same time so my example, my example in this is our solar system. So imagine this, our solar system is the whole music industry. And there's our, our sun, there's the Mercury, the Venus, the Earth, and every other planet. Well, as you can see, they all exist at the same time, all at the same time. So that doesn't mean that one planet is declining. So it's it's my example so do you get it guys do you get it that all genres in music all genres exist all at the same time okay and uh okay it's uh, another example <laughs> in cooking in cooking so what best dish should i uh, adobo <laughs> favorite filipino meal adobo okay so adobo in making adobo in making the perfect adobo you need to get the right ingredients so just like in the music industry you cannot have only one genre circulating in humankind okay <laughs> okay because that would be so boring so plain imagine just listening to one genre in your whole life it's like there's no color in your life yeah you get my point so we need spice we need some thrill okay that's why other genres exist to give us the thrill okay the excitement to listen to a new music to a new genre of music okay so, imagine eating adobo with only potatoes in it. So, hindi, hindi maganda. Hindi okay. So, that's why um, music uh, is not uh, only focused on one genre. Okay, they all exist at the same time. 
So that's oh, how many you? So that's my second point. My third point is actually it's all based on a person's point of view. Okay. Because you can say if you're a teen, if you're a teen right now, you can say that K-pop is really dominating the music industry. You can say that because that's your point of view. You are in that mindset because you listen to K-pop. Okay, that's your point of view. But what about the other people who doesn't listen to K-pop? In their own explanation, in their own point of view, in what music genre they are, they are listening, that's the mainstream for them. So that's their point of view. Imagine, example, example. There's a kid who listens to K-pop. So he's more updated K-pop. He thinks K-pop is really the mainstream. And there's this kid who listens to country songs. So he is, he's updated to country songs and everything and all the news about country songs. So for him, the mainstream for him is country songs. So really, it's just their point of view, a person's point of view, okay? And here, another example, like my mom, okay? My mom, she's an older generation, so she, she's not listening to K-pop. She still listens to OPM, uh, like Sharon, Regine, yeah, like that, and and her time, the boy bands in her time, she still listens to them. So for her, that's, she's in that point of view of her generation, okay? So she's still updated to that music, okay? So, so like if there's a comeback, like there's a new music or if, if those boy bands have a show in the US, like that. So really, it's really on the person's point of view. So in my point of view, no, the OPM is not declining. No, because I'm still listening to OPM. <laughs> okay, no. And music really needs to exist. Genres needs to exist all at the same time to give us exciting feeling when we listen to it when we listen to a new genre to a new music so this generation's trend and mainstream is k-pop so what do you think the next generation's trend will be so that's very exciting right <laughs> what do you think guys do you think opm or your own country's music is declining so just comment down below guys your thoughts or if you want to give me another topic another question just comment it down below and i will answer it on the next vlog okay guys so don't forget to like subscribe and share this video bye love let's stay safe